do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will discuss about the effect of gravity on liquid pressures so let us start that we will start about the discussion of the effect of gravity effect of gravity on liquid pressure the meaning is that you take a container and uh, take some liquid and then at any point inside the liquid let us find the pressure and how that pressure is dependent on the gravitational force that is on acceleration due to gravity so instead of taking a point i will take a cylindrical imaginary section of the liquid and find the pressure difference at the top and bottom of that cylindrical sample now This is a container which contains liquid. Now I will consider an element. of the liquid suppose this is my liquid element which is here which is cylindrical in uh, shape so this imaginary little piece of fluid element is considered and suppose that this point the bottom of this is say say point 1 the upper one suppose is the point 2 this point is point 1 and that point is point 2 now basically what we are going to do is we are going to find the pressure difference between the two points suppose that this point the pressure is uh, p1 at this point the pressure is p2 and basically we want to find what is p1 minus p2 so to find that what will do we will consider an origin over here suppose this is the origin this is my x axis and this is my y axis this is my y axis now i because this is at rest so i have to find the total forces acting on this sample is zero what are the forces that is acting one is the at this point the pressure will be acting upward so it is uh, p1 into a suppose a is the area of cross-section here at the top the pressure is uh, if it is decreasing obviously it will decrease as we have known that the pressure is uh, p minus dp into a Where a is the area of cross-section of the cylindrical element under consideration, and this distance from one to two, as you move from here to here, suppose from here to here, this distance is y, and here to here dy. So this length is dy. So this length is dy, and another force that is acting so this is the force due to the liquid column present here and this is the force due to liquid column present here the total length of this and now the weight of this will be also acting downward suppose dm is the mass of this element and g this is the downward force as the, so this is the aim to find our uh, the pressure difference and now we'll see what the gravity plays a role 
and determining these two. Gravity is there. So while determining the pressure difference, we will see uh, how they are arranged themselves. Now for equilibrium of for equilibrium of liquid sample under consideration, this total force sum of all the forces acting in the upper direction must be equal to sum of all the forces acting in the downward direction if you want the sample to be in equilibrium. So the forces acting in the upper direction is this force P1A and the force that is acting downward is this force and this force that is now P1A equals to PA minus DP into A plus DM into G. I have just rewritten the equation by opening the bracket in the first term of the right side of the equation. Now, uh, I will uh, write that the pressure here, is, I will take P, not P1, because at this point the pressure is p at this point pressure is p minus dp with related to this the pressure is decreasing so p1 is nothing but p so right p1 is nothing but the pressure p at the point one so therefore this is pa this is pa minus dpa plus dfg so this can cancel out this will go to this side so adp is dm into z. From here, what is dm? Uh, dm is the mass of the water in this present in this cylindrical sample. The mass is density of the liquid and the volume. Volume is the area cross section into this length, which is dy. So a dy into g. This is a dp. I can cancel it and the dp equals to rho g d y. So it is true that this comes out to be positive. This means that the pressure is decreasing with height as you move off. The pressure is decreasing. Obviously, the pressure has to decrease because the height of the liquid present is gradually decreasing. If I take the integration. Then integration from point 1 the pressure is suppose P1 at 2 the pressure is P2. I have to integrate this from P1 to P2. And at this point when the pressure is P1 the height is uh, Y or I can say write Y1 and uh, this height is suppose Y2. So this varies from Y1 to Y2. If I solve this this is P2 minus P1. And this is rho g is constant taken outside. dy integration is y, y1 to y2 is y2 minus y1. So, so this is the pressure as the pressure is decreasing. So this is actually negative because the pressure is decreasing. So therefore I can write p1 minus p2 is rho g h h is what h is this height if i dy in place of dy if i write h if i write h then this is the height of this liquid that is h so pressure difference between these two points is rho g h so this is the pressure difference so p1 is p2 plus rho g h This is how you find the relation, how this uh, gravity is affected, affecting the pressure at the points. So P1 is P2, P2 is the point at the this point. 
pressure at this point and P1 is the pressure at this point. This is how they are related. The difference is always rho GH. Okay. So, so you got P1 is P2 rho GH. So what is the conclusion? The conclusion is that if I have this cross-sectional element under consideration inside the liquid, this point is 2, this point is 1, and uh, I got that P1 minus P2 is uh, rho the H, the height of this liquid color. And the pressure at this point is pressure at this point plus because of this height there is a pressure due to liquid column rho GH. Now if I bring this point along this line, this is point 1, I bring this point to this point. So what is this height H? If I do so, this height will become 0. Why 0? Because 1 and 2, this is the distance between the two points. Now this point is brought to this side and the same line. So there is no height left between those two points. There is no y value for these two points. That means they are at the same level for point 1 and 2. Same horizontal level, h becomes zero. H becomes zero. If I put h is zero in this above equation, I will get p1 equals to p2. That means that establishes our earlier concept that pressure at any point in a same level is same. That pressure at the same horizontal level is same at each and every point. So pressure at this point and the pressure at this point is same because it is the same horizontal level. This implies that Okay, so this is the conclusion. Thank you.